Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today we're going to look at embedding social media into your Google site. We're going to look at embedding Twitter, we're going to embed Facebook and Instagram, but these methods will work with other uh, with other social media too once you get your embed code. Uh, I'll put a few different links down below to help you get to the, some of the sites I show you in here. Remember I do weekly tech tips and if you like what you see here today or looking for some other tech, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell so you get notified when my new videos come out. Let's get started today on embedding social media into our Google Sites. So I have my Google Sites open here and I'm going to start embedding. I'm first going to go to uh, Twitter here and I'm just going to show you a simple embed. So if I was going to go to, let's say, my own account and I wanted to take one of these articles, I can just simply click on the more here and I can go embed tweet. And you'll sometimes get the option, you'll see embed, embed video. But if I go to embed tweet, I can just simply copy this now, select it all, copy, go over to my uh, Google site that I want to put it in. If I'm, I'm just going to double click and then I'm going to click embed, but make sure you go over to embed code here and then you just simply paste it in, hit next, it'll give you a preview of it and I can go ahead and hit insert. So once it's in, I can resize this too. I can move it around depending on what part of the page. I'll give a quick view of it right here. So you can see this is embedded, this article is embedded into, uh, into my Google Sites now. So if I go back again, I'll just close out of this view. I'm gonna go back. So that was one option there. I'm gonna put this link down below in my description. Uh, here's something to uh, just make it a little easier if you want different types of Twitter feeds maybe. Uh, let's go to a different one here. So let me just type in, maybe you want to have Google on um, on your uh, on your website on your Google site, I'm just going to go to the page here, and I'm just going to copy the URL across the top here. I'm just going to copy, and then I'm going to go to this uh, link, and I'll put this down uh, down below in the description. I'm going to just paste this link right in here and hit return. Now it says, well, do you want to embed the timeline, Twitter button, button? So you can pick, these are your options that you have on this one. And you can see, you can pick a lot of different, uh, before you, uh, it tells you all the different types you can uh, paste into there. So if I go timeline, then what it's gonna do is create uh, this timeline for me down below and I can copy the code and I can go back uh, to my social media. So maybe I wanted, I'm just gonna double click, embed, go to embed code and paste this in. And now I'm gonna have the timeline in here. So if I go ahead and hit my preview here, now this time you'll be able to see as I scroll down, you'll get the timeline of it. So this is a couple different ways to put Twitter inside your uh, Google Sites. Remember, uh, you can size these the way you want. You can move them around uh, if you want them smaller, if you wanna have more across. So let's take a look at Facebook now. So with Facebook, if I go over to, uh, I'll just go over to one of my pages here, my teacher's tech page. Anytime you see a post, you can just simply click on the three little dots up here and notice that there's an embed here. So if I go ahead and click embed, I can take this, I can uh, copy this. I'll go back over to my, um, over to my Google sites and I'll just double click here and go to embed. Make sure you go to embed code and these are the iframes we're working with and hit next and I go ahead and hit insert. And you can see right away, now I have that post. If I preview it, so I have some Twitter in there, I have some Facebook uh, in here. And remember, I might wanna size this better uh, to make sure everything uh, looks a lot better than, than it does right now. So I can just simply, I can drag this down. So if I wanted it somewhere else, now maybe over to the side and I can click on it. So you can see how I can make the box bigger make sure it suits uh, what I want. Now, if I go over back to the Facebook one, uh, different something you can do to get more options. If you hit the advanced settings here, it will bring you to another page. Now this, you have a lot of different choices here. So I was under embed posting. You can see um, how it generated. Uh, this is kind of what I inputted already here. So if I get the code, you can see, don't put the JavaScript in if you're copying from this page. 
it's the iframe that we want to copy and paste over. So you can just have more options here. Uh, you can see with the size and different things here. But the other thing I wanted to show you is you have all these other options. If you had a video you wanted to embed, you can go and copy paste uh, the URL of the video right through here. And then you can get the code Remember, we're going to iframe each time. I'm just using the example that they have here. You can just copy this part. If I go ahead and copy it and go back and I put it here and hit embed, go to embed code and paste it in, hit next, and you can just put a video from Facebook like that. The other things uh, to take a look at on this page here too is over on the side so you can see the like button, so if, if there's a certain page, so if I go back over to my teacher's tech and I copy the URL from the top of this one and go back and then I just paste it, I'm going to paste it here like so. I'm going to get the code and remember it's the iframe that I want. I can copy this here, copy, and then I can go back to my website. I'm just going to maybe I'll put this one up here, embed, embed code paste and insert you can see now i have the like one here too so these are just a few different options if you take a look at the all the different options that you have you can go to uh, the page plugin here too so if you wanted the whole page uh, with it i can uh, i can put my same paste into here and go ahead and get my code for it i'll get my code Oops, I guess I should type the right thing in here. I just pasted the wrong one. So I got to go back, copy this over and go back and paste it in here, get my code. And then you can see this, if I want to have my all my different articles in it, I can get my code. But remember, when you get your code, we're getting the iframe, putting it in here, copy, and we go over to our Google sites. And I'm just going to scroll down and embed it like so and paste it. So check out all those options that you can do to insert the, the different Facebook styles and the Twitter uh, styles into it. Lastly, I just wanted to show you with Instagram and this can work with if you're getting other embed codes. So maybe you're looking at looking at Pinterest or different things like that. I'm just in a in, in my uh, Instagram. You can see I don't use it very much. Uh, but if I wanted to embed this one picture, if I go ahead and click on a picture and then click on those three little dots, I get the embed code here and I can copy the uh, bed code and go back over to uh, my Google sites and I'll just put this in here and I'm going to hit embed, embed code, paste it in and whoops, I better put the same thing. I don't know why that didn't copy in here. I'll copy that again and go cancel, embed, embed code, paste, next and then you can see I can insert the Instagram. So there we put some Twitter in, we put some Facebook, different types, and we have an Instagram post that uh, we can put in too. So all these things can make your Google sites uh, much more dynamic with the feed. Uh, you know, if you place it right, when people come to your Google sites, you can just make things update a lot quicker uh, without having to manage it as much. So I hope you like those tips for embedding uh, your iframes into Google sites. Remember, you can try this with other, other type of accounts. You're just looking for that iframe to embed it and using what I showed you here. So if you like this, make sure you do share this with some other people if they're looking uh, to learn how to do this. I do these weekly tech tips and if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.